The other major story we're following this afternoon, it is becoming more and more clear that a COVID-19 vaccine will likely soon be available to the American people. And doctors with Wisconsin's Department of Health Services are already working to issue guidance on what to do once that vaccine does become available. This morning, doctors met on behalf of the Wisconsin Department of Health Services, bouncing ideas off one another, digging into how to prioritize who gets a vaccine first, particularly among health care workers. The doctors realizing that a one size fits all approach to vaccination distribution is unrealistic. You give them the guidance and have them develop their their vaccination strategy strategy based on the, the factors that are relevant for that particular organization. During the meeting, risk factors like age, race, and underlying health conditions were considered, as were the settings the healthcare workers set to receive vaccines may be working in, and whether or not the workers are being directly exposed to COVID-19 or potentially infectious materials, or whether or not somebody has already been infected with COVID-19. Does history of having COVID infection impact a priority? or who gets the vaccine, who does not. That's just like another factor that a local entity could consider. I would be extraordinarily uncomfortable with essentially penalizing people who have previously had disease. The doctor's also considering the most practical way to distribute the vaccine in the event that the initial supply is too limited to distribute to all healthcare workers. So I think at the end of the day, we have to ask, you know, yep. when it comes to that, do we use a lottery or do we use the first come first serve? And the goal of today's meeting to develop a rough draft to an outline that will eventually help distribute the first vaccines among healthcare workers statewide. The next step is to have this guidance formatted, then shared and opened up for public comment before it becomes official.